This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi everybody and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your coach, Dancy Moeller, and I am so happy you can join us. We started off the season with over a dozen high school teams. We are now down to our final four. These are the semifinal games that you're going to be seeing. You're going to see Riverdale take on Elida and a little bit later, Marion Local will face off against Bell Fountain. We want to welcome everyone who is playing from these high schools and of course we're going to introduce you to them now. Joining us from Elida, we have Ethan Bowersock, John Free, Molly Wright, and Cody Crates. Elida is coached by Shelby Klutz. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Riverdale High School. Playing for Riverdale is Andrew Borkowski, Samuel Thacker, Zachary Kaler, and Justin Hartman. And Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome back, gentlemen. Okay, I think by now you would all know the drill. We have 10 questions in this first round, all worth 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. We have our judge with us again, Mark Dickman, and hopefully we will not have to call on him, but make sure you speak up with those answers and make them as complete as possible. All right, everybody ready to go? Take a deep breath, here we go. Question one, what is the first movie in the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Yes, Riverdale. The Fellowship of the Ring. Fellowship of the Ring is the correct answer there. All right, question number two. What artist is associated with cubism? Yes, Riverdale. Pablo Picasso. Picasso is correct. Question number three. In the French acronym RSVP, what word does the R represent? Yes, Riverdale. Responde. That is correct. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on now, number four. Name the dwarf in the fairy tale that spins flax Yes, Elida. Rumpelstiltskin. That is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. What hurricane hit Houston in August? Yes, that would be... Uh, Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey is the correct answer, Elida. Very good. All right, number six. What is the depression called that new birth mothers can suffer from? Yes, Elida. Postnatal depression. That is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try it? No, the answer is postpartum depression. All right, number seven. What is created when sunlight passes through raindrops? Yes, Riverdale. Rainbow. A rainbow is the answer. Okay, you have three questions remaining in your game. First round. <laughs> Identify the melodious small bird of the thrush family that begins with the letter N. Yes, Elida. Nightingale. Nightingale is correct. What worm-like animal was once used to bleed patients with illnesses? Yes, Elida. Leeches. Leeches is the correct answer. Okay, here's your final question in round one. In what poem did the bird say, nevermore? Yes, Elida. The raven. The raven is the correct answer. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score. Elida, you have 50 points. Riverdale with 40. We'll be back with rounds two and three after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. This is a semi-final game between Elida and Riverdale. Our score right now, Riverdale with 40 points. Elida, you have 50. That means that you're going to lead the second round. We have five questions worth five points apiece. They're all yours, but please ring in with the answers, okay. 
What is the name of the painting by Da Vinci showing the 12 apostles? Yes. The Last Dinner. That is incorrect. The answer is The Last Supper. All right. Who wrote the oratorio, The Messiah? Yes. Handel. Handel is correct. Name the marine animals with flippers that come ashore to lay eggs. Yes. Turtles. Could you expand the answer? Sea turtles. Sea turtles is correct. What was the name of Don Quixote's sidekick? The answer is Sancho Panza. All right, moving on, final question in this round for you. What is the nearest celestial object to the Earth? Yes, Elida? The moon. The moon is correct. Okay, now it's Riverdale's turn. Five questions worth five points apiece. Everybody ready? Name the winged horse that rose from the blood of Medusa. Yes. Pegasus. Pegasus is correct. In what part of the body is the metatarsal bones found? Yes. The hands? That is incorrect. It's the foot. What is the graceful dance for which Mozart and Haydn composed music? Yeah. Yeah. Waltz. The waltz is incorrect. It's the minuet. All right, you have two questions remaining here in this round. Name the ancient Roman building where the only source of light is the top of the dome. All right, time is up. The answer is the Pantheon. And your final question here. Name the area on either side of the military demarcation line that separates North and South Korea. The yes. The DMZ. The DMZ is the correct answer there. Okay, we've come to the end of our second round now. One remaining yet. Here is our score. Elida, you have 65 points. Riverdale with 50. Again, this round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Everybody set? All right. Name the ethno-religious group of people that were victims in the Holocaust. Yes, Riverdale. Jews. That is correct. What harbor is associated with December 7th of, yes, that would be uh, Riverdale. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor is correct. What is the term used for a species of animals that is close to extinction? Yes, Riverdale. Endangered. <coughs> Endangered is correct. Moving on, question number four. What human rights violation was abolished by Great Britain in 1833? Riverdale. Slavery. Slavery is correct. All right, question five in this final round. Which famous music composer was deaf? Yes, Elida. Beethoven. Could you expand the name, please? Mr. Beethoven. That is incorrect we cannot accept that so Riverdale you've got a chance Ludwig von Beethoven that is what we're looking for very good all right question number six for what measurement is the rotation of the earth the basis yes the day that is incorrect Riverdale Elida you want to try time time is the answer all right number seven in this final round in what part of the body is the atrial septum located. Riverdale. The heart. The heart is correct. Okay, you have three questions remaining, teams. In mythology, who was the youth loved by Aphrodite? Yes, Elida. Paris. That is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try? The answer is Adonis. Mm -hmm. All right. Question nine. What is the white outer part of the eye called? Elida. The cornea. That is incorrect. Riverdale, it's your chance. Yes. The retina. 
That is also incorrect. It's the sclera. All right, here's your final question in the semifinal game. In what Libyan city was an American ambassador killed on September 11th of 2012? Yes, that would be Elida. Benghazi. Benghazi is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our semifinal game between Riverdale and Elida. Here is our final score. Elida, you had 85 points. Riverdale, 110. So congratulations, you're going to be moving on to our championship. And Elida, you had a great season. Thank you for joining us. And we'll be back with the next game right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we have a winner from our first semifinal game. Riverdale came out on top there, so they are going to move on to the championship game, taking on the winner of this game between Marion Local and Bell Fountain High Schools. Let's introduce you to our players. Joining us from Marion Local, we have Tyler Applegate, Austin Kramer, Matt Burning, and Isaac Buddy. And Marion Local is coached by Paula Hemmelgarn. Welcome back, guys. All right, turning now to Bell Fountain. Ben Sailors, Miriam Eyrick, Lily Evans, and Justin Long. Bell Fountain is coached by Donna Bruner. Welcome back to all of you. Okay, 10 questions in this first round. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? Let's take a deep breath. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. Answer as loudly as possible and as completely as possible. In Greek mythology, everything he touched turned to gold. Marion Loco. Midas. Could you expand your answer? Uh, Midas, Midas. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn it over to Bell Fountain for your try there. Yes. King Midas? King Midas is the answer we were looking for. All right, question two. In mythology, which god was half human with a goat's body? Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Pan? Pan is correct. Name the part of the body that includes frontal, parietal, and yes, that would be Marion Local. Uh, the skull. That is correct. Question number four. Name the thunderous noise that occurs when an airplane flies faster, Marion Local. A sonic boom. Sonic boom is the correct answer. Gotta go fast. Number five in the semifinal game. <clears throat> what is the edible marine mollusk with a shell that begins with the letter O? Yes, Bell Fountain. Oyster. Oysters, correct. Name the leader of the Soviet Union during World War II. Yes, Marion Local. Joseph Stalin. Stalin is correct. What is created when light is reflected through a prism? Yes, Bell Fountain. A rainbow? A rainbow is the answer there. Okay, you have three questions remaining in your first round. Drums, triangles, and chimes are what kinds of musical? Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Percussion? Percussion is correct. Name the British monarch at the time of the defeat of the Spanish Armada. Yes, Bell Fountain. Henry. Henry is incorrect. Marion Local, you've got a chance. Yes. Elizabeth. Could you expand the answer there? Queen Elizabeth I. There you go. Queen Elizabeth so I. All right. Final question in this first round. What simple creature turns organic garbage into vermicompost? Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. The earthworm. Worms is correct. All right. We've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score. Bell Fountain, you have 60 points. 
Marion Local, 40. So that means Bell Fountain, you will lead this round with the first five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answer. Name the first American woman in space. Sally Ride. Sally yes. Sally Ride? Sally Ride is correct. In what decade did Kenya, Malawi, and Uganda gain independence? Yes. The 90s? 90s is incorrect. It's the 1960s. Um, oh yeah. What are the largest, heaviest lizards in the world? Komodo dragon? Mm. Yes. Komodo dragon? You are correct. Komodo dragon. All right, question four in the second round. Name the physicist largely responsible for the development of the hydrogen bomb. Yes. Albert Einstein. No, that's not that is incorrect. Edward Teller oh. is the answer. Okay, your final question here. In what year was the Berlin Wall erected? 58. Time is up. The answer is 1961. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Mary Local, your turn. Here we go. What female was known as Serpent of the Nile? Yes. Medusa. Medusa is incorrect. It's Cleopatra. Why did you say oh, that? All right. What is the hoped for result when the drug scopolamine is administered? I don't know. Yes. Pain relief? That is incorrect. It is the truth is what we're looking for. All right. Who inherited the throne of Scotland at the age of six days? Charles. Charles is incorrect. That's Mary, Queen of Scots. All right, two questions remaining here in this round. Who was the first American to travel into space in 1961? Yes. John Glenn. That is incorrect. It's Alan Shepard. All right, here's your final question in this round. <coughs> What is the carved pole that some Native Americans set up in front of their dwellings called? Yes. A totem pole. The totem pole is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our second round. Here is our score. Marion Local, you have 45 points. Bell Fountain with 70. We'll be back with the final round of the semifinal right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we've got a great semifinal going now between Bell Fountain and Marion Local. Here is the score. Marion Local, you have 45 points. Bell Fountain with 70. We are entering our final round. Again, 10 questions with 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready, and here we go. Name the gland that sets the pace for human growth. Yes, Marion Local. Uh, the thyroid gland. That is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try it? Endocrine? That is also incorrect. The answer is the pituitary oh, gland. Oh, yeah. All right, number two. Who painted the well-known portrait of George Washington that hangs in Boston? All right, time is up. The answer is Gilbert Stewart. Oh. Question three. What is the name given to a vocal solo from an opera? Time is up. The answer is Aria. Uh, okay, number four. On what island is the palace of King Minos? Yes. Thebes. That is incorrect. Marion Local, you've got a chance with this. 
Sicily? That is also incorrect. Crete is the answer we're looking for. Number five. What czar tried to westernize Russia in the early 1700s? Marion Local. Uh, Nicholas. That is incorrect. Belfountain, you want to try it? Yes. Uh, Alexander. Nope, it's Peter <laughs> the Great. Oh. All right, number six. Russia. What Dutch city? became the financial capital of Europe by 1600. Yes, Marion Local. Amsterdam. That is correct, Amsterdam. Who is the teddy bear named after? Yes, Bell Fountain. Teddy Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt. You are correct. All right. Three questions remaining in this game. Name the political party that Thomas Jefferson belonged to. Yes, Bell Fountain. Democratic Republicans. That is incorrect. Marion Local, you want to try? Yes. The Federalists. That is also incorrect. It's the, you're going to give them credit? Give credit over here to Bell Fountain, our judge says. Okay. All right. You get credit for that answer. All right. Moving on. We have two questions remaining in the game. Foreign words raha, argent, and dinero mean what in English? Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Money. Money is the answer. Final question in this semifinal game. What is another name for the constellation called Ursa Major? Yes, Bell Fountain. Little Dipper. I'm sorry? Little Dipper? That is incorrect. Marion Local? Big Dipper. The Big <laughs> Dipper <laughs> is the answer. Is All right, we've come to the end of our semifinal game between Bell Fountain and Marion Local. Here is our final score. Marion Local with 65 points, Bell Fountain 100. So congratulations, you're moving on to our championship. Marion Local, it's been fun. Thanks for joining us this season, and we want to thank you for joining us at home. Watch next week, championship game right here. Bye-bye.